This video is sponsored by Notion. I take on many roles on a daily basis. As a content creator, I assume the role of a script writer, photographer, videographer, administrator, and so much more. And on top of all of that, I'm a husband and most recently a dad, which has been super rewarding but also very challenging. And honestly, I'm still adapting every day. Trying to reconcile this new reality with being self-employed can be really tricky. It just feels like there's not enough time in the day to do everything, which is true, but there's enough time to do what's important. So today we'll go over how I stay productive, my Notion system. Although a lot of what you'll hear in this video is very content creator specific, you can easily use this as a starting point and tweak it to fit your personal or professional life. I break up my days into three categories, flow day, creation day, and hybrid day. This helps me structure my day and have the right mindset. Flow day is basically where I am sitting mostly on my computer, scripting, responding to emails. Most of the time, this means I don't even need to fix my hair or dress nicely. The focus is to keep my head down and get work done, hence the name Flow. Creation day is when I try to film any content. Sometimes I'll batch film short form videos during this day. Sometimes it's a YouTube video. Since I'll be on camera, I try to fix my hair, put on nicer clothes. And if I have meetings, I try to squeeze it in the morning of this day. And lastly, I call Friday hybrid days because this is the day when I try to pick up any task that needs to get done before the end of the week. Editing, scripting, reviewing a contract, whatever it is that needs my attention, I tackle it during this day. So every day at around 9 a.m., I bring a cup of coffee to my office and open Notion. This is my Notion homepage, which I call Command Center. I stay on this page pretty much 90% of the time. And the first thing I do is look at my focus, which is basically my to-do list and my reminders and notes. But first, let me show you what's in my command center. On my left, you have the dashboard, which has like links to different pages. IA is my architecture firm page. Studio is my content creation page. Content calendar is a list of all of my content. 2023 goals. I like to look at my goals at least once a month for sure every quarter. And I have a link to my Google calendar and email. On the right, you have this mindset area where I just write anything that resonates with me during that season. This doesn't really change until another phrase, quote, or thought hits me. Recently, I've been listening to Green Lights on Audible after several people recommended it. It's Matthew McConaughey's book, and he mentioned the idea of one in a row. This to me serves as a great reminder that success is about making one good decision at a time. All I need to do today is do my very best at a task at hand and then do the same tomorrow. Moving over to the left again, we have reminders and notes. This is for quickly writing down stuff, especially when I'm not on my desk. It can be a task that is not necessarily time sensitive, just something that I need to get done during this week or maybe even the next. So for example, I just got an iPhone 15 Pro and I've been into customizing it and stuff. So I placed a reminder here to look up videos on YouTube to learn more about this topic and then apply what I learned onto my iPad. Sometimes a must do thing comes to mind, but I don't really have the time to figure out all the details. I also write it down here. This would happen a lot when I'm not working or when I'm not on my desk. So I make sure that I capture that and figure out the details later. In this case, I remember that I needed to find a song for my monthly favorites video. And the idea is when I get back on my desk and look at my reminders and notes, I'll see this note and think, oh, I need to schedule this at some point this week. And I would put it in on my tasks. Under capture, I created two buttons. The first button is to capture a video idea. It creates a page in my content calendar tags it as an idea and so I could refer back to it later. And then the other button is to add task to my task manager. My task manager is basically a list of all of my tasks, whether it's personal or business. This is something that I don't really look at, but it's necessary to create the system I have in place, which is the bulk of how I use Notion. And we'll talk about it right here, the focus section, which is basically my to-do list. Most of the tasks here are added during the past week or so, or at the very least, they are added on Friday afternoon of the previous week. This is a board layout, which I have grouped by the day. I also have a filter set so that only the tasks relevant to this week shows up. 
Also, I have a formula so that when I change the date, the day changes with it. So for example, this film unboxing videos, this shouldn't be on a Monday because Monday is a flow day. So what I would do is just click Tuesday and it goes on to Tuesday. Without the formula, not only will I have to change the date, but I will also have to manually move it to the respective day, which might seem not that big of a deal, but sometimes I just forget to move it in the appropriate day. So how do I use Notion on a daily basis? On a Monday and Wednesday morning, when I open Notion, my goal is to tackle any admin tasks. The only difference between these two days is that on Mondays, my first priority is to make sure that my whole week is in order. And since my days and weeks revolve around content, I have to factor that in when I'm planning. And I do that in my studio page. At the top, I have links to different pages. But what's important here is my upcoming content section, which shows the content that I'm trying to produce for the next two weeks. And below that is the studio task section, which is actually the same database as the one in my command center, which is my task manager. It just looks different because I have it set to a calendar layout as opposed to a board layout because I find it more helpful for planning because I can look at prior weeks and also upcoming weeks. So on Monday morning, what I would do is look at my upcoming content and think of the different tasks that I need to do in order to finish that video. So let's take this video for example, Augmonk Daily versus Weekly. I know I'm not gonna be talking in this video and so all I need to do really is to create a shot list. And so I wanna do that on Monday create shot list and then I could add that video under this video list relation just to remind myself of what I'm creating the shot list for and so when it's time to actually do the task I could just click on the card and see the video I'm creating the shot list for and then I basically go down the upcoming content list and try to plot it all out in my calendar whether it's this week or the next and sometimes I need to move tasks around just to make space in my calendar. So for example, film daily versus weekly. There's no reason why I couldn't film this the same time I'm filming the unboxing videos. And so I would just go ahead and move this to Tuesday on the 3rd. And then now I have my Thursday open. And so when I'm looking at my upcoming content and creating more tasks, now I could see that Thursday is open. This is usually a filming day, which one of my videos is ready to be filmed and I could just film it on this day. Hopefully now you can see the importance of this calendar view. It allows me to plan not only this current week, but also be mindful of the next. Now the same calendar view is actually in my command center. Also, all I have to do is click calendar and you can see right here, all the tasks are also there if I wanna do that. The reason why I like using the board view in my command center is that it just acts as a better to-do list, especially when I want it to occupy just one third of the screen or when I'm looking at it from my phone. You can just see the name of the task better and faster. After that, I check my emails and I try to achieve inbox zero. While addressing my emails, it's pretty common for me to find more tasks for the week. A lot of times I'll get asked about my availability for a collaboration, make slight edits to a video, send an invoice, and so on and so forth. So I leave Notion up so I can refer to it whenever necessary. At around 11 a.m., I try to switch my brain from admin to a more creative work. Scripting, editing photos or videos, writing a caption, looking for music. I'm basically in and out of pages in Notion, checking things off my to-do list while taking note of anything that comes up. I try to take an hour break in the middle of my day and when I get back at my desk, I try to chip away at my reminders if necessary. So let's pretend that I just got back from lunch. So I look at my reminders and notes. I can't do the first two but I do want to schedule, find a song for monthly favorites and I want to do it on a Wednesday. And so find a song, platform is Instagram, TikTok, deadline is Wednesday. And after that, I try to tackle on the big projects again until the end of the day. So I think that's a good overview of a typical Monday and Wednesdays. And before we talk about Tuesdays and Thursdays, I think it's a good time to go over my content calendar. So in my content calendar, I have the video title, priority, status, topic, target posting date, publish date, 
and then the sponsor tab. And I want to point out three things here. First, under video title, you might notice two different icons. Basically, the camera icon signifies a TikTok or Instagram content, and then the play button signifies a YouTube video. I basically created two templates for each because the way I approach each platform is very different. The second thing I want to point out is this priority tab. It's actually a formula. It automatically sets the level of urgency depending on the target posting date. So if the video is due today, it goes into ASAP. If it's within four days, then it's high. If it's between four to 10 days, then it's medium. And then everything else is low. This is so important because now I don't have to make adjustments. Notion does it for me. And lastly, once a video is posted, I'll put in the publish date right here. And once I do that, the status will go automatically to publish and this video will be taken out of this list. So if I want to view it, I can view it in one of the other views on top. And speaking of views, I created several ones. I have overview, which combines my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube content. Split view, which splits the two up. Calendar or publish dates. This is where I could look back on some of the videos I posted. And then list view, basically the same thing, but in the list form, my most recent video is on top. And ideas list, which if you remember, I have that new idea button in my command center. Basically, once you click that, a page is created and then it is tagged appropriately and it goes into this ideas list. So for Tuesdays and Thursdays, this is the page I'm mostly on, specifically the page of the video I'm working on, reading my script, looking at my shot list, whatever the case may be. I just love scripting on Notion because of the AI features that's built in. I like using it when I have a mental block or sometimes I just need it to say something in a better way. It's such a powerful tool that helps me a lot when writing. On Fridays, which are the hybrid days, there are two tasks that are reoccurring. First, I typically post my YouTube videos on Fridays. So if I have a post that day, then I dedicate the first hour of my work, commenting, sharing my videos on all platforms, posting it on my stories. And most of the time, I watch the video one more time. And then before the end of the day, I do my planning for the next week. I look at my studio page again just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Then I go back to my command center and look at my reminders and notes and allocate the specific tasks to a specific day if necessary. So that sums up how I use Notion throughout the week. I like to keep it simple and easy. And if you guys want this template, I'll leave it in the description. If you guys made it this far in the video, type in green light in the comments below. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.